Okay, so Wayne Robson here again. Uh, so this is the one we left with uh, the table texture. Um, we've got to displace one. I've deleted the bump channel because we don't need uh, that particular one. Um, let's just make it a little bit more interesting. Um, so I'll quickly just create a bump channel. Um, and I'll import when I find it on the computer because it's went and we'll put it into a different folder. So this is what you do for not preparing things. Right, um, let's try the specular. Um, I just quickly just added a bit of um, desaturation. You have to excuse me while I'm doing all this. Right, let's just turn that off, just make sure I know what it looks like. Because you obviously want to uh, get it looking about right. Right, there you go. Um, so we've got a diffuse, we've got a bump. You have to excuse the fact that uh, I sometimes stop when I'm working because I'm used to working in complete silence. Um, so let's import that specular and see uh, exactly what that looks like before we start sending maps backwards and forwards. As it is there, let me do it about 10. There you go. Um, and here's our rather interesting map. Well, that's not really interesting, is it? But it makes a good demo. So what you do is let's export this, okay? I would save that as the defuse, okay? So let's just save that out. It's a PNG. Now I'm also going to that there. There's a specular map. I'll just quickly open the defuse, okay? Now let's do something really crazy, okay? Just to make it really obvious what's happening here. Um, so I've got the brush there. There's a text layer we don't need. Make the brush a bit bigger. Let's add a really big red dot right in the center. Okay. Now let's just save this file. Okay. Wait for it to save it. <coughs> it's a uh, 2K PNG there. So uh, remember, there's capture software running, Photoshop running, etc., etc. So let's just go and jump back to mud, and then. Just go refresh selected, All right? And there you go. It's as simple as that. <laughs> now the one drawback of this, and this is nothing to do with mud box. This is to do with their uh, Photoshop. Um, if you want to do it the other way around, right? Let's say that uh, I have my airbrush, or better still, the pencil, and we'll pick. Um, let's see, a nice one down here. That one will do. We'll give that. A blue colour, like that. Stick it with some randomise on, and we're going to paint something else. And then we want to send it back to Photoshop, and we'll notice something. So, send the uh, get the brush there, art, and just quickly, we've got it like that. Okay, there you go. It's covered it right over. In fact, let's just undo that because that's way too saturated. You can't see a thing. So there you go. There it is is a nice blue thingy. Uh, now we go and go export selected. Diffuse, save again, right? It's all saved out. So we go back in there. The only way to redo that, as there's no reload in Photoshop, is to just do it like that. See? There is no other way. Um, that's a limitation of Photoshop, I'm afraid. So there you go. It's as simple as that. Tailable textures. Um, thanks, God, Andrew, for that one for this. We'll be supplying the mesh. We've, I've just cleared it uh, there before, so you can all have a play around with it. 32 bit displacement painting, um, tailable textures, and sending backwards and forwards to Photoshop. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to paint a HDRI.